<laughs> get in here, get in here, get in here, best friends, because I'm gonna teach you five warning signs that he's gonna waste your time. Let me tell you this, baby, you are far too beautiful and your time is too precious for you to be sitting up here letting some man waste your time, especially if you are single and looking for your king. So what I want you to do is listen very close to these babies, because I, you know how they say it's that you've been around the block, okay? Baby, I haven't just been around the block, I have built the block. And I'm gonna teach you the lessons that I have learned from when men have actually wasted my time, baby. I said, all those, all those nights of heartache and crying about these men, well, guess what? They about to be a blessing for you because I'm gonna give you some lessons that came out of this, all right? Now, before I jump into these tips, I'm gonna tell you right now, you better like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel, baby, okay? Because I got plenty of tips to help you live your best life and hopefully help you find your king. Let's jump into warning sign number one. He's inconsistent. Girl, that's the first warning sign that he's gonna waste your time. Let me tell you this, back when I was all young and spry when I was a young girl, honey, I used to believe these men when they would say things like, oh, I, I'm sorry I didn't hit you up for a couple of days. I, you know, I was working, life just got crazy, my bad, but how you doing, okay? Or, or, or I believe when they, when, you know, one minute you talking to them every day until two o'clock in the morning, you know, and then next day, they, they you can't reach them at 7 p.m. and then they tell you after that, oh, I just fell asleep early. Really, really? Ronnie, really Ronnie, you just fell asleep early? Okay, okay, sounds like you had a date, okay? I would believe this inconsistent mess, okay? And I believed it because A, I wasn't very experienced to know that they was lying to me, but then once I got old enough to, and had a whole lot of experience to be able to figure out that they was lying to me, I chose to keep on believing it because I wanted to believe that they were telling the truth. Here's the thing, pay attention to what you're experiencing from a man. In fact, I'll take it one step further. Believe what you see in their behavior more than you believe what comes out of their mouth. If their behavior is showing you inconsistencies, then understand that this man is going to be inconsistent. Understand that he may not be ready for a commitment. Understand that he has not yet made room for someone like you within his life. Here's the thing. When a man is ready to settle down, when he's ready to even just get to know somebody on a meaningful level, he will make room in his life. Even if his work schedule is all over the place, he will find time to step out into that break room just to give you a call. Like, hey, baby, I just want to let you know I know I'm busy today, but I just want to let you know I'm thinking about you. He'll send you a text message. He will do things to let you know that he is mentally present. He's not going to drop off the face of the earth and pop back up later on acting like nothing happened, okay? So pay attention because I'm telling you this right now. Consistency is a sign of readiness for commitment. Warning sign number two. He only calls you when he wants some or wants something. Listen to me when I tell you this, okay? If a man is ready to commit to you, he's not only calling you when he wants to get up in your good graces, if you know what I mean, okay? He is going to call you to check on you. He's going to call you just to kind of just have a conversation. Even if he ain't got an agenda, he just want to call to hear your voice, okay? Yes, there will be times where he calls you because he wants some of that good, good loving, okay? And that's just fine, okay? But he's going to balance out those times with just reaching out to you because he cares about you more than just he cares about your body and what your body can do for him. Understand this, okay? You are beautiful. Beautiful. And I don't care how beautiful or how wonderful your body is, okay? You have more to offer than just that. So if he is only calling you for that, then you have to recognize that that's the only value he sees in you. Now, I know that's harsh for some of y'all to hear right now because some of y'all don't want to believe that, but that is the bottom line. And to that extent, if he is only calling you when he wants a favor or when he wants something, then understand this. He's calling you about only favors or calling you only to make requests because he doesn't value you any more than what you can do for him. Pay attention to why is he calling you and when he calls you, what does he want from you? Pay attention to that because it is a true reflection of what does he really see in you? What value does he see in you? Someone who's ready to commit to you is someone who's going to see you holistically. There'll be times when he calls you just to say, how was your day, baby? There'll be times when he calls you so he can tell you about what happened to him. There'll be times when he calls you like, girl, let me say, I just saw this funny thing on TV. Let me show you this. There'll be times when he calls you because he want to get on you know, you know what I mean? He'll call you for all those things, but he will call you and connect with you in a holistic manner that shows a value in who you are as a whole being. Now, child, warning sign number three. Some of your mamas should have taught you this already. I'm going to tell you that right now, okay? But if they didn't, honey, Mama MJ going to teach you this today, okay? He already got a boo. 
or situationship. He involved with somebody. And by situationship, that includes he's still living with his ex, okay? Because that's not acceptable. Here's the thing. A man is not ready to commit to you if he is still emotionally or sexually attached to somebody else. Do not fool yourself, baby, okay? I don't care how good your cooking is. I don't care how good your good loving is. I don't care how good anything else is that you can bring to the table. You cannot do anything to make that man detach from that other person until he is ready. That's why it is so critical that you not allow yourself to invest any emotional energy into a man in any time or physical energy into a man until you know that he is fully available for you, okay? He needs to be fully single, okay? Because if he's not fully single, then that means that that other person is a constant risk factor because they could pop up one day, talk about daddy, I want you back. And because he was detached to them first, who you think he gonna go running back to him and you get that dreaded phone call talking about well yeah you know uh me and my exercise to make up and then you mad you seem to be feeling jaded you are pissing these subliminal uh, posts on instagram talking about if he can't value you be done with him if you know he's already got a situationship or a relationship then be done with him baby get out of this scarcity mindset that there are not enough good men out here so you gotta work with the one you got even if he's attached to someone else baby no you gotta believe in abundance you gotta recognize that who you are deserves a man who's fully and completely available to you and he exists but you will never meet that man if you are allowing yourself to be tied up with somebody who frankly is not yours and may never be fully yours Number four, he playing games, girls. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this right now. He playing games. And Neil over here laughing because she know it's the truth. She laughing because I said number four with these things. But regardless, okay? Number four, he playing games, okay? You know he playing games. What's the game that these men be playing, Nia? Ain't shit game. What's it? What's that? What you mean? What's it? Tell me the game. Ah, oh, they be they just playing games. Like they say, baby, I want you. They really don't want you. Mm. They say you're the only one. You're really not the only one. No. Nah. They say like you know you the, the love of my life and y'all know each other for Ooh. two days. Oh, shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. They do. They do. They play all these games, baby. You know a game. Some of y'all are old as Methuselah, and you still act like you don't know what games these men play. Y'all know the games they play. Some of y'all don't play these same games, okay? If a man want to play games, then let him play games. But you don't need to be with him. Now, don't fool yourself either, because I used to tell myself this, Nia, have you ever done this? Well, I would tell myself, I'd say, you know what? He, I know he's playing games, but I'm bored anyway. I'm just going to entertain it for a little while. It ain't that big a deal. And then next thing you know, those games turn to him getting you down, and then you all attached, thinking that you can talk, that you can change Tony. Okay, nah, Tony was a player when he met you. You thought you could change him, okay? And you shouldn't have given him your time in the first place. So if you recognize, and when you recognize that a man is playing games, just recognize he is not ready for commitment, baby. I cannot impress upon you enough. Your time is precious. And tomorrow really is not promised to any of us. So for every single day that we are given, I believe that we should be putting it into the things that we actually want and not wasting our time with people who we know don't align with what we want. So if a man is playing games, then that is a major sign that he's not ready for commitment and therefore he doesn't deserve to be in your life right now. Now, the fifth and final warning sign is that he is not ready for a relationship and he probably told you it already. Pay attention to this. If he tells you that I'm not looking for a relationship, if he tells you, I'm just wanna go with the flow and just, you know, see what happens, whatever. If he tells you these things that are pretty obvious, that he don't want a relationship? Listen, honey, I don't care how fun he is, I don't care how good the resume is, I don't care how good the loving is, I don't care how good he look in person, I don't care about none of that. Here's the thing, you are setting yourself up for an emotional disaster every single time that you try to build a relationship with a man who's clearly told you that he's not ready for a relationship. And here's the thing that some of y'all do, because I know I used to do this, okay? You try to build a relationship with a man who tells you, I'm not ready for a relationship, then, then listen to this, okay, Tell this is familiar, okay? Then once you get attached to him, you trying to change him to be ready for a relationship when he inevitably doesn't change and then reminds you, I told you I wasn't looking for no relationship. Then you try to act all heartbroken, acting like he the bad guy. Why would he leave me on if he wasn't really looking for a relationship? Then he should not have been intimate with me. He should not have been calling me. Why shouldn't he have? He told you where his head was at. He told you what he wanted. He told you what he didn't want. And you chose to keep giving him your time, which was an indirect way of telling 
telling him that you are okay with what he said. So in his mind, he's thinking, oh, she must be okay with this because I told her I didn't want a relationship, but she keep on opening her legs. I told her I didn't want a relationship, but she keep making herself available to me. So clearly she's okay with the dynamic. So you hurt yourself in that instance. Let me say this, okay? What you desire is what you deserve, which means that whatever your picture of, of your king is that you want, you can have that once you accept that you deserve that. But you will never have that person as long as you continue to invest energy into people who are clearly showing you that they are not ready for what you are ready for. If this video was helpful, what I want you to do is of course click like on it and I want you to comment below this video. Let me know your thoughts on it. Include your cash out because occasionally I like to give away money and then make sure you click the share button and subscribe to this channel okay let me tell you this when i'm deciding who i'm gonna give money away to one of the things i look for is are you lighting up my notification across all social media platforms that's facebook tiktok instagram baby you can follow me all those places and of course if you have another video idea that you want me to cover comment below with that all right best friend love you to death bye